Hey there, and welcome to the Ocean Springs Community Live Show. I'm Cynthia Sutton. And I'm Sarah Karkish, and we are here connecting community and creatives with you. And we are here at the Mary C. O'Keefe Cultural Center. We have a really cool exhibit behind us. We'll tell you a little bit more about that soon. But as always, we kind of like to start and kind of give you guys a little update of some things going on in the community because we want you guys, as she said, stay connected with the community. So some upcoming fun things we have for the Ocean Springs Chamber is on July 14th from 8 to 9 a.m. is Breakfast with the Mayor. It is our First breakfast with the mayor with our newly elected mayor, Kenny Holloway, and that will be from 8 to 9 a.m. at Mosaic Restaurant. So that is open to the public, so we want Very you guys cool. to come out, have some breakfast with us, and meet Kenny Holloway, the newly elected mayor in tell, tell us what time that is again. 8 to 9 a.m. at Mosaic Restaurant okay. right here in downtown on Government Street, and it is free to the public, Very so nice. come get some complimentary breakfast yeah. in here. We've had a few moments with Kenny. He's pretty awesome. Yeah. I feel I feel good. I feel confident about him leading us, don't you? Right. Oh, I do, too. Yeah. I mean, he's already been a part of things, helping us mm -hmm. with events and activities, so. <laughs> Poor thing. He, got, he had to get started a little early, didn't he? Right. We kind of threw him in there, because there's a lot to do here in Ocean Springs and to work with so we're excited to show him to you guys on July 14th we also have coming up another fun event it's summertime and um, we know I love to shop oh my so, <laughs> so we have coming that's an up understatement <laughs> <laughs> on July 23rd and 24th um, downtown uptown all around Ocean Springs we have the July sidewalk sale coming up from 10 to 5 so all of our shops around town will actually be, you know, getting rid of their summer inventory and getting ready for already the school season. So, um, I say it. I know. so how many shops are involved? Um, usually we have 30 or more oh. that are actually a part of that. So lots of deals, lots of shops. And some of our restaurants will do like fun things and offer some specials as well because, you know, it's still summertime. It's still hot out there. We want you to enjoy Ocean Springs. Mm -hmm. So those are some fun summer activities. And I know we have some summer camps going on. So yeah. we'll tell you a little bit more about that. We'll feature someone today. Mm -hmm. But you have a lot going on here at the Mary C. this summer too. <sighs> yes, we still have around 12 programs that we're offering for all ages. You can check it out on our roster. Um, we have a page on the City of Ocean Springs website right now as our website is being built. It's the Mary C. page on the City of Ocean Springs website. Very cool. You can also go to our Facebook. We're constantly updating people there. So yeah, definitely yeah. check that out. And then we have uh, several events coming up. One this Thursday is the Firefly. We're probably going to have to move it inside because it's so wet outside, but it's going to be great. We have Wes Sanderford coming for live music. Nice. And then we have Solange Ludwig uh, doing glass blowing demos, but also you can take a class. You can make a witch ball for $45. Oh my gosh, if you mm -hmm. have not done that, you have got to come be a part of that event. It's really, really cool. I think that's really neat that we've added that here in Ocean Springs because mm -hmm. that is a really cool art. So yeah, it is. And her setup is a custom setup. It's completely legitimate. It's safe. It's just a unique experience that you really don't find in the South anymore. Yes. So and beyond that, Chef D's got some tasty treats mm. and Fireflies going to be great. We have all these different digital art activities. And so, yeah, just come on out on uh, Thursday night, 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, I think we're going to have it in the lobby. So, yeah. That sounds like a really cool event. You've done that once before mm -hmm. to kind of show people what's going on. And just kind of yeah. invite them to be a part of the family yeah. here at the Mary C. So it's kind of come and experience the activities and the environment and let it evolve and let the community evolve the activities once they get a little excited about them and they understand them we'll just keep experimenting together. I love it. So, I love it. And um, you, and they can also follow on the Facebook page you said because there's Absolutely. a whole lot of activity going on that. You guys are posting yes. all your classes on there. That's yes. cool. Yes, we do. <laughs> yeah, right? Right, okay, so um, we'll post those links and where you can sign up for all those. Still coming up, a lot of fun things for the summer. So one thing we want to feature for you, it is still summertime, so we have summer camps going on in all different places throughout Ocean Springs. And we actually are featuring um, one summer camp today that still has some openings. So we want you guys to hear a little bit about that. So come on over, guys. Come on over. Here. We have with us, we Thanks. have Joni Defada from the Walter Anderson Museum of Art, and we have Shannon D. with the Marine Education Center. Thanks, guys, for being here today. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. us. Um, it's kind of cool. You guys have a partnership working on some of the classes, and you have a really neat um, art and science class that you guys are working on together that is actually still open for sign-up for this summer, right? So tell us a little bit about that. So we are holding the um, Art of Marine Science Virtual Summer Camp, Love it. and this camp is going to be held from July 26th through the 30th, and we do still have room. 
This camp um, is a collaboration with the Walter Anderson Museum of Art, and we are focusing on a Gulf Coast favorite, the oyster. Ooh. So what we're going to be doing is holding a, um, our morning sessions are going to be uh, science-based. We're gonna go over the biology of the oyster. We're gonna go over the cultural, um, culinary, and economic value of the oyster in the Gulf Coast. Um, we're gonna do live demonstrations and uh, take home scientific exploration activities. And then in the afternoon, Tony's gonna take over and I'll let you talk about what you're gonna do. So in the afternoon, we'll be doing art activities that will connect what the children have done in the morning with um, and learned about science and connected with art. So I brought some samples that we had last year. Um, this is a... And last year you guys did a virtual class, yeah, is that was, right? It was, it was all virtual. We did videos. Uh, we sent them a box of materials and they did their own artwork sort of the <laughs> night before and then we looked at it through a Zoom call the next day. But this is actually a technique called wax resist where you're painting watercolor over crayon. Mm -hmm. And the lesson was to show how um, the watercolor doesn't totally stick to where the crayon is, like oil repels water. Mm -hmm. And we talked about cool. the, right. the water that was getting into the Gulf and, the, and, the, um, and also when oil gets into the water, how that can affect things. Um, we also actually gave them a, uh, an oyster shell in their box. <laughs> and that was one of our art wow. activities where they actually that painted is... the oyster shell. I what is that? So, it was a lot of, well, this is the sample one I did. They keep uh, all, I was going to say, they, they, I was like, man, that's good. They, they keep all <laughs> of their go, work. Tony. Oh, work. so they're, they're, <laughs> they did some really fantastic work it. last year. And um, of course, they get to keep it all. So once, once the camp's over, they have something to show for it. That's really neat. Well, tell us a little bit about why science and art, why you guys are connecting together and partnering USM Marine Education Center and the Walter Anderson Museum of Art for this class, science and art. Yeah, well, Walter Anderson was just as much a, um, a naturalist as he was an artist. And he noticed things like the dwindling populations of pelicans, which mm -hmm. led to the discovery of um, DDT that was getting in the water and yep. making the eggs break. So it just makes complete sense since he was an observer of nature to combine those things. Wow, that's very, very cool. I mean, it's really neat just to see that concept and it's really cool that you guys are working together for the class. So you said last year you sent them a box. So here's a box. So will they get that this year if they sign up for the class and kind of work on some things? Yeah, so this is last year's box. Um, they're going to get a science and art box this year as well. And it's probably gonna look a little different but um, it's going to give them everything they need to participate in the activities that we're having during the class. I love it. Okay, so where will the classes be? So the classes are going to be virtual again. This is gonna be a, a Zoom event, so we can have students from all over the country. Last year we did, and that Wonderful. was very exciting. Very cool. Okay, and so how do they sign up? So um, if you go to our website, it's usm.edu slash mec, and scroll down to the link for camps, and you can click on the, um, Art of Marine Science link, and that will give you the registration link. Very cool. We can post that in the comment section below after this. We will. We will. Um, anything else to kind of add about what you guys are doing? Because you, you have a lot of, both of you guys have had a lot of summer camps this summer already. So, um, so throughout the summer, you guys both host separately summer camps that people can sign up for. When is the best time for people to sign up for summer camps? Early as possible. Awesome. Ours have been filling up pretty quickly this summer. Wow. And do you guys have a fall semester coming up for classes? We are going to ha have some um, adult classes and we will, we will be adding more workshops and things for, for all ages. Now that the, um, the art cottage across the street now right. is the um, Courtney Blossman Art Cottage mm -hmm. and it's just been uh, renovated so it's a great new facility and we have plans to add more buildings and more space in the back so we plan on having more activities. Um, such as STEAM camps where we're doing arts integration with the STEM program and all kinds of things for, for adults, for kids, for families. Very nice. Right. I would say, yeah, and one cool thing in Ocean Springs is art is everywhere. And it's really neat to see how um, guys like you, like y'all actually bring it into the world and teach people the education of it. So that's really, really cool. In the Marine Education Center, we're gonna have to go out there one day. Oh, yes. Absolutely. That would be really, really cool. So tell us a little bit about that facility just in general. So that facility was built after uh, the previous facility was lost in Hurricane Katrina and it 
has been built to um, very high environmental standards. It was built so that it did not impede on the natural environment or it did as little as possible. Mm -hmm. And it's won several architectural awards. So definitely come on out and see us. You have an expansion bridge or something like that over there, We right? do, we have, yes, we have a suspension bridge. It's, it's very cool. Very cool. Um, is it open to the public to it come to? It is open to the public. Um, we do close the campus when we have classes in session, a lot of little ones running around, but otherwise it's open to the public. And how do people find out about just going out there and having fun and exploring the nature out there? Um, you can learn all about the Marine Education Center on our website, usm.edu. Wonderful. I'm sorry, slash amazing. <laughs> Wonderful. That is amazing. It's really cool that we have these little hidden gems in our community of Ocean Springs with the Art Cottage and the Marine Education Center. So thank you guys for partnering. I think it's going to be, it already has been a great summer. And there is still the art and science class that you guys can sign up for. We'll post that link below, as Sarah said, so that you guys can still sign up for it this summer. And I just want to say kudos to you guys for adding sustainability into your lesson. So we're teaching our young ones how to take care of our world. Absolutely. That's super important. That's something I've, I'm very much behind. So thank you for doing that. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you for you. being here today. For that is awesome. Well, again, we'll post that information um, for the Walter Anderson Museum of Art and the USM Marine Education Center for the summer camps. And um, we'll just keep an eye on what you guys are doing. Um, thank you so much for everything. Thanks yes, lot. thanks guys. Thanks for being right. here. Um, so, okay, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to talk to you guys a little bit about what's behind us here. We have a cool exhibit with an artist. Um, Lehia Romer. You want to yes. come on, join us? Come on, come on in. Hey there. Lehia is wonderful. She has been a local <laughs> creative for the last four years. She's also an architect and just a wonderful soul, uh, a great spirit. And we well, love her. <laughs> we love her here locally, one of our local artists. So um, we just want to kind of start by mm -hmm. you introducing yourself to us and tell us a little bit about how your uh, your, your career, style of art, yeah. yeah, your career in architecture and your style of art connect. Right. Because obviously um, you can yeah, see they do. You can see there, there's definitely an architectural influence in my work. <laughs> um, it's funny because I always used to love drawing, even as a kid. And it was part of the reason why I went into architecture. And then, of course, in the early 90s, everything started going digital and computerized. And I was really missing the actual act of drawing. Mm -hmm. So I started doing a lot of drawings. I started with small doodles, and they, they were very and so, precise. And so <laughs> your medium is usually one of about three things, right? Yes. Gra graphite? Yes. Watercolor? Watercolor and, and, and ink. Ink, ink, but then also collage. And also collage, yeah, yes. Nice. The collages started a little later, um, and it was kind of literally, a, it grew out of the fact that, you know, you start accumulating so many images and words and texts and mm -hmm. things like that, and I decided, well, what a great way to recycle all this stuff. Instead of throwing it away, I'm just mm -hmm. going to cut it up. So, and your pieces, um, your pieces, they're not just buildings, they're not just architectural plans, they have... They have subjects, they have people, they have stories, they have messages. Yes. So how did that evolve? Well, um, I... Uh, you had things to I, say? I had things <laughs> to say. <laughs> um, I have, you know, I, I also have a doctorate in philosophy. Don't ask me why. That's a <laughs> long, convoluted story. But, um, and I, in both architecture and philosophy in some ways are kind of abstract because as an architect, mm -hmm. you're designing something that doesn't exist yet. And right. some people have actually trouble interpreting drawings. Mm -hmm. um, so in that sense, it's kind of abstract. I love and that. philosophy yeah. is very abstract because you're sort of contemplating things that nobody's sure about yet. Exactly. You know, it's like once people are sure about it, it's science. It's no longer philosophy. Right. So. Right. Um, I, I love that so, description. I love that. <laughs> so it may, it makes Adds more creativity. So. Right, exactly. You know, you, you, you're kind of, you, you start to think about, you know, why certain things are the way they are and how they can come together. And, um, you know, you have to do a lot of writing in grad school. So I literally, I am <laughs> right. cutting up, you know, papers and things like that. <laughs> I love it. using them in my work. So that's yeah. a good way to. Uh, What's the word? Rebel against. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay, I have that the green option. Exactly. <laughs> so, okay. I didn't like writing that. Let me cut it up. Maybe you could show us one yes. of your favorite pieces and we can kind oh, of zoom in on that. it and so people can see the detail. Honestly, if you look at the bigger picture of this installation wall, it's one of your pieces. 
right. it's turned horizontally and then each piece in this installation wall is literally a box in the piece that I kind of I yeah drew. exactly right. and yeah. that was inspired by this right. so and I love so, all the colors that it's bright it's vibrant it's colorful yes. and that's interesting because when I started I did a lot of just graphite drawings really? so they were completely you know they were just black and white um, and um, eventually I actually had a really funny experience. I had some psychic tell me that I was going to be using more color. <laughs> and she was right. Wow. <laughs> it's like you kind of started out right. like this and then it blew up. Right. Okay, yeah. so take so, us to one of your pieces. For example, this is an earlier I piece where yes. I wasn't doing the, the um, collages yet. But yeah. you see it's very right. architectural, but yes. it's, it's not real. It's kind of surreal. You know, yes. it's just all these images together and there's always a figure in there. Um, and then, if you look real close, you can so see your perspective, yeah, perspective lines. points. Yes, so um, you know, and, I like how and you when you know how to do it, you right. can manipulate it and purposely make it. And look that's what I was gonna say. Oh. I like how you took your architecture design and manipulated it into right. something very abstract and creative. Right. I love yeah, it. Thanks. Love thanks. it. Um, and, and so, then, and so, you have a little person in here. Why did you put her in there? Um, well, you know, because. It, it's all about, I think, how we perceive the world, you yeah. know, and um, there's there's no point to architecture or art or any of it if there aren't people <laughs> to appreciate it, I guess, you know, that's part of it. And it's sort of, to me, it, it also kind of anchors the piece, mm -hmm. you know, just as a compositionally. Yeah. So um, sometimes I've done drawings where it's all completely abstract, but then you just see the profile of a person, you know, like in mm -hmm. one corner or that's something, it's sort of like, they're looking at it or something like that. I love that. Um, and then there's some behind Sarah that actually has, like you said, some of those those words. Some of yes. those. Yes. Would that be sort of your paper? Your philosophy? Yeah. <laughs> our, yeah. This is this is literally you know a, a page from a paper, and um, then I started drawing over it and picking out certain words that that popped out. You know, for example, here philosophy practice. You know, philosophy versus practice. Mm -hmm. You know, oh it's gosh. like they're just sort of the opposite things. Um, I really so, love that. I'm a writer so as well, so it'd be really cool to um, give you something and turn it into something abstract. Like, Absolutely. That would be awesome. Yeah. Okay, I, I love the way your mind thinks and you just put those different <laughs> things together. It's and she nice. does do custom pieces, by yes. the way. Oh, Occasionally, so, yes, yes. Okay, yes. so we want to we wanna make sure the community knows this. You have a tea talk coming up. Yes. So yes. we're going to have tea, literally. And you're gonna give us a talk, yeah, yes, right. about your work <laughs> and about yourself and and what's to come um, after this show goes down, which I'm very sad about. But that will be on July 20th at 6 p.m. There will be information out there on our website, well, on our page, and then on our Facebook yeah. um, until our website's out. Well, you know, <laughs> I love I love that you've done that before the tea talk event because mm -hmm. it really actually gives the public a chance to kind of hear mm -hmm. right. your art and kind of what you kind of did today. You know, you actually. Tell people how you interpreted what made you think of making right. that design. And I yeah. love that creative concept Absolutely. in these events. So that's going to be I really think, cool. I, I think for most people, I mean, I, I have the same feeling when I look at other artists' work. If you get a little bit of a sense of the human being behind it, you know, that it's not just sort of floating out there as this object that mm -hmm. has no soul Exactly. It, exactly. That connection right. so, is everything. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be a little bit of an intimate situation. We're going to be here in the gallery. So if you are interested in participating or coming to the event, um, just call us and we'll reserve you a seat. Excellent. So, I love it. Thank you. I love it. And you'll get to meet the artist, you yes. get to mingle with her, talk with her. Yes. And again, what is that date again? That's July 20th. 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. Here at the Mary C? Uh-huh, 6 to 7. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. We'll post some more information on that um, in our comments. But very interesting talking to you. Thanks. I've enjoyed getting me. to know yes. you and see your art a little bit. I think that's what it, that's what it's all about. You know, it's you know the details behind the art and seeing that, that creativity and seeing how um, the people's minds work right. when they design these concepts. Right. So that's and really, really we're cool. so happy to be able to highlight you guys. Y'all yep. deserve it. You're hard workers. You have careers beyond your art, but then your art is why you have your career. And right. that's, that whole connection is everything. Yes. Right. Yes. So yes. thanks for sharing with Thank us. You. Thank and you. like you said, so this is the local creatives gallery mm -hmm. here at the Mary C, which yes. is one of the uh, couple of galleries here at the Mary C that showcases those artists that are literally part of that organization. That's right. So, right. Very cool.
There you go. Thank you. Well, awesome. Well, um, uh, thank you guys for being here today. And thank you for all of that. I mean, there's still lots of fun things to do this summer in Ocean Springs. Check out our sites and our Facebook pages or social media to stay up on all those details. And um, if you can think of something cool that we should cover, let us know. Comment about that. Yes, We'd yes. love to, you know, we, we'll um, tour around Ocean Springs and let everybody know what's going on in town. Mm -hmm. But we are here at the Mary C. O'Keefe Cultural Center. We told you about some events and activities coming up. Don't forget to stop by for the Firefly this Thursday. Um, what's the time again? It is from 7 to 9. I'm here. So, um, and, it's, and it's open to the public? It's open to the public free. Yes. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome. So, um, uh, this has kind of been fun, kind of yes. like um, getting a little creative here with art and science, which is really neat. <laughs> so, until next time, um, we'll see you later. I'm Cynthia. I'm Sarah. Thank you.